Hey there, BOQ crew. This is Jennifer, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a notepad set using the Country Fair collection from Minte. BOQCreations.com has lots of different Minte collections that give off that vintage vibe, allowing you to create something beautiful. I'm going to start off using the Minte fancy cards, but if you don't have those, you can just use a piece of paper, cut it four and an eighth by 12 inches. I'm going to score it three and a quarter and three and a half inches and again at eight and three quarters and nine inches. I will carefully fold my card at each one of those score lines, making sure to get a nice crisp fold. This will give me the trifold I need to hold my notebook. I will take another piece of paper, cut it 11 inches by two inches, and I will score it three and a quarter and three and a half inches, as well as seven and five eighths and seven and seven eighths inches. I will then fold along the score lines and this will give me the band that I need to wrap around my tri-fold notebook holder. I can now begin to decorate my notebook holder with paper from the Minte Country Fair collection. I cut two panels, each of which are four inches by two and three quarters inches. I use my tape runner to add adhesive to the back of each panel, and then I adhere each panel onto the notebook holder. Next, I'm gonna get that paper band and I'm gonna wrap it around my notebook holder. I wanna make sure it's secure, but not too tight because I still want it to slide up and down the notebook holder. I'll use my tape runner to join the two ends together. Notice how it can easily slide up and down the notebook holder. Next, I'm going to take elements from the Minte collection and I'm gonna to begin to place them along that band. Be careful where you place your glue, as you do not want to glue your elements to the notebook holder itself, but only to the band. For the flowers and the vase, I'm going to use some little foam squares to add a little bit of dimension to the elements on the band. To make the notebook, I'm going to use 10 sheets of copy paper and I'm going to cut it into rectangles that are 5 inches by 4 inches big. That will give me 40 sheets for my notebook. I'm going to line up those 40 sheets of paper and I'm going to add clips to the end to ensure that my paper stays tightly together. I'm going to put glue on one end which will create a binding. I use my fingers to lightly wipe that glue along the binding making sure that all of the papers are touching the glue. I just reposition my clips so that I ensure that the binding remains tight. I'm going to let that dry, and once it does, I have a notebook that I can begin to rip sheets off of.
While I'm waiting for the glue on the notepad to dry, I decided I'm gonna use some ephemera from the Country Fair collection to add to my notebook cover. Once the glue is dry, I can remove the clips from the notepad, and then I can use a little bit of adhesive from my tape runner to place the notepad inside of the notebook cover. Finally, I can close up my notepad cover, I can add that band, and now I have an adorable gift that I can give a friend for any occasion. Thank you for watching today, and I hope this tutorial inspired you to create something special and unique of your own. Be sure to visit us at bowcuecreations.com where crafters learn to create.